Hello Techies, this is Miguelina, aka Catwoman from Tech Valor. I received my Pixel 6 Pro because I'm part of hashtag Team Pixel, hashtag gift from Google. Thank you. Unboxing. I was so excited when I got the news that I was going to be getting the Pixel 6 Pro because I had already been using the Pixel 5a for about a few months now and I've really enjoyed my experience. Oh, is she pretty? I like her. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> um, okay, let me compose myself because you guys came here for some information. So her name is Sorta Sunny and she's super duper reflective. I'm just gonna hop her off of here and then I'll show you what is in the box. First thing we have here is a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. Next is a USB Type-C OTG adapter, which I didn't end up even needing to use, but you'll see when I set it up. Lastly, there are some user guides along with a SIM ejector tool. Beautiful 6.7 inch AMOLED 120 hertz HDR10 Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. All of the things, all of the things, all of the things. On to the tour. On one side, there is the power button and the volume rocker. The next side has the SIM tray. The bottom has a USB Type C port and two bottom firing speakers. The top has a lonely little mic. Let's talk about this bump. A lot of people don't like this bump, but I'm okay with it because without it, then the cameras wouldn't be as good. So I'm okay with it. I'm gonna put a case on it that's going to hide the bump anyways. So that's just my take on it. Pixel 6 Pro cases. This is the official case that is made by Google. It is called Light Frost and it is a translucent case. Looky, you can see my hands through. Here's a quick tour with all of the correct cutouts. I don't like that the volume rocker is just one piece instead of two separate buttons. Installation is a snap, like legit. You just snap it in and it's done. Yay, it looks cool, I like it. I actually prefer this frosted look instead of the reflective glass look that it is. So I think that this case is pretty cool. Let's get another quick tour with the case on it. And as you can tell, it fits very tightly. It hugs all of the curves and you aren't gonna get very much tabletop protection or camera protection. If you've known me for a while, you know that I have to have a phone with a kickstand. My Pixel 5a has a kickstand and I love it, love it a lot. So you know I had to get one for my Pixel 6 Pro. Though your girl loves the sort of sunny while it's naked, I had to go with pink because I just have to express myself. I'll leave a link to my detailed review about the ExoGuard case and why this type of design is so beneficial. Look ma, no bump. Initial setup. First thing to do is to add the SIM card into the SIM tray. Don't be like me and turn on the phone and then realize, oh yeah, that's right. I don't have a SIM card inside. I'm going to fast forward through the initialization process because I want you to see that if you go through the process and you don't connect to the internet, whether it's a Wi-Fi or your SIM card, then you can't transfer the information from one phone to another via USB. And it was really, really frustrating. I wish that that's something that Google would fix because that's something that also happened with my Pixel 5a. I had to be connected to the internet in order to transfer all the information from my Note 9 over to my Pixel 5a. So I became frustrated and then factory reset the phone so that I can start over and connect to the internet and then that way I can tether my Pixel 5a to my Pixel 6 Pro 
and transfer all the information via USB. So here I go again. And when I get to the Wi-Fi section, I'm just going to pull up so that way I can use the mobile network setting. And now that I have a successful internet connection, I'll have the option to transfer the information from one phone over to this one. Remember earlier when I ended up saying that Google gave me a USB Type-C OTG adapter that I didn't need? Yeah, this is the part right here. So I didn't actually end up needing to use the OTG adapter. I think it's because I was using a Pixel phone with a Pixel phone. I tapped the copy button on the Pixel 5a and then I signed into my Google account on the Pixel 6 Pro. I make sure that everything I want to transfer over is checked and then I hit the copy button. I swipe up and then I hit the accept button. I tap the not now button. I tap the accept button. I skip adding in a pin. Hit skip again. Skip one more time. And then I tap continue. I agree to Google's hands free. I swipe up and agree. I tap the agree button. I set up the keep always on display and turn on button. And then I choose done for now. I choose no thanks to promotional emails. And then I wait for the data to be copied over. When everything is completed, I hit the done button. I follow the navigation instructions and then swipe up to enter the homepage. System update. The first thing I like to do when I get a new phone is to see if there are any system updates. And there was one for the Pixel 6 Pro. I just went to settings, system, system update, and waited for it to download and install. When it's completed, I hit the restart now button. And now my phone is up to date.